That's good. And then that, that's good. And I think this is good. Oh. No, not that one. The silver, and I think that's good. Okay. Is that gold? Yeah, that is. Good. Yeah. What's up, Locker Nuts? All right, we've got a very special series here. It's a twofer. Why? Because we bought two lockers in one day. All right, so this video, we're going to show you the first locker that we bought. Nice little locker, 30 bucks, 5 by 10 tons of merch. Filled my entire trailer with merchandise. It was a good flea market day. All right, but I'm going to show you everything. But just to let you know, tomorrow I'm releasing the video for part two. This one's even better. This locker was owned by Hunter. And why do I say that? Because everything inside was camouflage. Everything. All the bidders were talking about the rest of the day. By far the best locker of the auction. All right. But you're going to have to wait till tomorrow to see that. Right now we're, we're going to focus on part one. And what are we talking about? Let's get going. Here we go. It's Wednesday. Auction was on Monday. We're back. Let me show you guys what we got. Ooh, junky. Junky. Why'd I buy it? Okay, here we go. Alright. That couch doesn't look too bad, at least not from back here with stuff all over it. <laughs> Basically, if I had a blanket over it, it'd look a little bit better. But here's what we got. Why did I buy it? That's what you're asking yourself. Why would he buy this? Well, for one, I paid 30 bucks, so the price was right. But that don't make it right. Um, that's a laptop thing right there. I don't know. I did see this, okay? Speaker, it's decent. I see, you see that tote right there? Boom. It has some cases inside that made me interested. The case on top, let's see if I can point it out. Ooh, this one up here. Looks like a set, uh, cassette, an old cassette case for cassette tapes, uh, but I don't know what the other ones are, but that made me interested. I didn't even see the bike, okay? Manuel saw the bike when we walked outside. He's like, it looked like a decent cruiser bike in there. I was like, there's a bike in there? <laughs> but um, this kind of stuff right here, table set, maybe there's a table in here. There's definitely chairs. Let's see, one, two, three, four, it looks like. Uh, those are easy to sell at the flea market. This stuff, surprisingly, is easy to sell at the flea market. We're only talking about a couple bucks, but it's still easy, easy, easy. And hey, I need one of these. I don't even have to go to the post office. Oh. So, yeah. Ooh, check that out. That's fancy. That's right. So I'm upgrading these days. And it works. All right, that's kind of a funky angle right there, but that's what we're gonna be working with until we get into this thing. We get the front area cleared out. These sell. That's a good three bucks at the flea market. Maybe a little more. Mueller, Mueller, Mueller. All right, I got lots of bad jokes today, so I hope you guys like that kind of thing because we're just getting started cover up all that stuff but here's a cashier's check for 2900 bucks right there Ooh, too bad i can't use that oh brand new socks copper fit how do you even do these i don't i don't play lottery tickets where's the winning number oh 11 no nope, it's a loser okay and here we got a little teacup set cash creek casino oh that's funny uh this could be a nice candle only slightly used. So the gal at the front desk just told me that uh, there's no telling what we're gonna find in here because this gal's been here a long time. Glitter ink. That's not really a good sign. That's a bingo parlor thing. Um, unless you want a ton of money. That looks like honey, but I don't really know what that is. Snoopy. Snoopy's always good. <laughs> Sorry, Snoopy. I just sneezed on you. Rinse Ace? What is that? Is that for washing your dog or something? It's got little nubbies on there, see it? Huh, that's cool. Does anybody need a toothbrush off the floor of a storage locker, a dirtiest storage locker to add? Uh, let me know, shoot me an email. Okay, lockernuts at gmail.com. Shoot me a price. It's good enough, I'll go in this garbage can and dig it back out again. 
All right, what do we got here? The phones are always in here. Nope, not this time. They always are in there. I'm really surprised by that. National Association of Letter Carriers. There's someone that maybe they work for the post office? I don't know. I don't know. There's a few brand new uh, CDRs. This is a two bucks. Okay. It's a calligraphy set, which is feels like it's empty. Oh, there's a couple. Oh, it's not empty. There's a few cartridges, tips, and a pen. That's kind of cool. I don't know. That's a dollar or two at the flea market. It ain't, it ain't much. I was gonna say this is something much nicer. It's a little metal uh, Eiffel Tower. Something's heavy in here. All right, what we got here? Mi casa es su casa. Mi casa es ugly glass bola. What other junk we got in here? A bag of batteries, including a brand new bag. Okay. No. This bag is producing some very nice items. Joy. Oh, yeah. That's what I was thinking. I'm going to fold it out. All right. The only thing better than wrapping paper in June is half open, half used wrapping paper in June. Joy. Yuck. It's all containers. And it smells. It smells like dirty food items. Jet blue, jet paws, that's cool. A little animal carrier that'll sell, it's a couple bucks. Something's making my allergies kick up, and I don't even have that sense of allergies. It's either dust or there's something else in here that's got me, <clears throat> got me coughing like crazy, but let me show you something. There's the table, that's good news. <clears throat> Excuse me, table and the chairs, if they're in decent shape, that's probably 50, 60, maybe even 75 bucks, just depends on how nice it is. So that's a good score. Um, I haven't found out anything else that's really impressive in here, but I just want to show you that. Some sort of an ottoman here with a cover. Oh, let me just show you what I'm seeing right here. I just pull up this thing back. Boom, what's that? Actually, there's a few things in here, but I saw this first. What is that? Look at that. Sports pack for the Wii. <laughs> that's good, because maybe I'll find a Wii in here. Big pot here. What's this? Ralph Lauren, a little bit of cologne. That's worth a few bucks. Check this out. <laughs> it's like a safari hat. It's plastic, but I think it's like actually probably a legitimate one. This lady worked for the post office, I think. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Going on safari. I'm actually going to probably use this hat for the next locker, and you're going to see why. A brand new. Kotex pads. Honestly, guys, I don't even know how much a bag of this is. I don't. I don't. My wife does not make me buy these, and I do appreciate that, but I don't even know how much a bag of it is. Is this $5 at the flea market? Is that a good deal? Five bucks, I think. It sounds like a good deal. I got one, two, three, four, five of them. That's good. It's got a nice design. It's got the plastic on it, and the plastic's in good condition. It's a little dusty, but otherwise this looks good. This is going to be at least a $75 table. All right, guys, we're going to speed things up here a little bit because we got a lot to get through, and uh, we can do it more efficiently this way. A lot of clothes in this box, a couple towels, most of it decent stuff sold at the flea market. Hey, if you guys didn't notice, lock and nuts, check it out. Baby Jeebus made that design for me. First time I've worn that shirt. Yeah, I just wanted you to hear that. Uh, really happy with the shirt design. Thank you, Baby Jeebus, for that. So this box here, a lot of housewares, plates and stuff. It is good stuff. This uh, Snow White set there, we sold for $5 at the flea market. A couple of radios, I think those went the dollar sale or free. I'll tell you, a lot of the items here either went at the dollar sale or free. Mostly at the free sale. They just weren't biting at even a dollar. Lately, our dollar sale has been kind of a bust. I don't know why. That was some windshield repair stuff. There's some heat pads for the shoulder. Most of those items are getting dollar or two during the day. Nothing real impressive here. We didn't really have a lot of big ticket items. There's the WD-40 I kept. Shoes, did, shoes went. I don't even think someone took them for free. A lot of merchandise here. It's Quasinar. It was a fondue pot. Dollar sale. 
The camera, yep, the camera we do find, but no battery. So I think I sold the camera for three bucks. <laughs> I think it was a six megapixel old camera. You know, there's a little stun gun, a really old stun gun. It's all sticky. There's some just miscellaneous DVDs and things. Nothing exciting at all. Ooh, got mosquitoes. There's a faceplate for a radio, for a car radio. Well, there's a little doodads. There was a Nintendo DS game I put aside. There's a few items that I kept, but not much. I really didn't keep much from this locker. Because <laughs> there just wasn't that much good stuff in there. A deck of playing cards with Mickey Mouse, but it was used. This little tin. A um, lot of pens, a lot of cables, chargers. There's a couple pairs of ski gloves. I sold them for two bucks each. And uh, a couple little tool sets sold for like either five, three, or two dollars each. You saw one craftsman set there, but everything else is like generic brand. Some little spy kit thing there. Half of it was missing. Uh, looked like she was going to some sort of a dental technician school because those are flashcards, memory cards. A couple car seat covers. Swimsuit, books, there's a, a humidifier, I think you call it, a little penguin shaped humidifier. There's a deep fryer with oh. grease. There's a purse. It's got some funky junkie on there. And it's empty. And there's a candle. Ooh. That smells gross. Tunisian jasmine? That does not smell good at all. It's like a Starbucks wannabe. Oh, t t Tunisian jasmine soap. So if you if your room doesn't smell bad enough, now your body will smell just as bad. That's gross. Yep, okay, so nothing, nothing impressive there. There's a digital photo frame. Nobody cares. Nobody buys them. There's a dirt devil. Nobody cares. Nobody buys them. A couple more board games. Um... Now this bin. This is one of the reasons why I bought the unit. Hmm. What do we have here? We've got batteries and hotel soaps. And film. Here we've got a floppy disk. Price tax. <laughs> uh, like a savings account book and a bunch of pens. Go something like that. Now this is what I spotted. Yep. Justin Timberlake. Actually, there's a few Justin Timberlake. There's Jewel, Babyface, Sade. Oh, maybe we got something better here. Come on, give me something better. Pesh mode. That's that's good. Is that in there? Nope. Dang it. You put that right in my car. Now this is good. This is good right here. Super Mario Galaxy. This is good. And it's not there. One good thing I found in here wasn't in here. Well, maybe we still find it. Maybe the disc is loose. That's a good game. That's probably a fifteen dollar game. Okay, we got past that. All right. Yep. Nothing exciting in there, unfortunately. I had some hopes on that bin. But uh, yeah, the beach cruiser was not bad. Okay. Didn't see it in the shot there, but it was missing the handlebar. But we do find the handlebar. The stereo there shot. It's like in pieces. The doors busted off. The speakers. Or one girl was there, but maybe it was broken or I broke it. I don't know what. Um, speakers went for I think a dollar each. Uh, the table didn't show it too much. The table is nice. Um, clothes here again, decent stuff. Nothing like real name brand or anything, but a couple pieces were stained or, or dirty, and I threw those out. But most of it was sellable. Put a dollar each. Most of it went at the free sale. Um, the one good thing about the table, uh, that was the handlebars. The one good thing about the table was it has a leaf that folds inside. You know, so you pull it apart and the leaf is contained inside the table. I got 80 bucks for the table and chairs. 
I was asking 85, I took 80. One of the chairs was broken. Uh, the, like the post, the cross post was, they stood on it. This was actually turned out to be a portable pet playpen. Um, whatever. The chairs and the sofa, the chair and sofa set was in very nice condition. It was not leather. It was a pleather, but a high quality pleather. And I sold it for 40 bucks. And that was my, I am not taking this thing home with me price. I wanted it gone, and it was gone. So the lady who bought it actually resells furniture. Uh, the people who bought the chair and tables, they were not. Well, maybe they were. I don't think so, though. I think they were using it for personal use. Um, we had six chairs total. You can see I just keep pulling them out. They're buried. Uh, the nice thing is at the table, the legs had the little screws in them. Without the screws, they're very hard to sell because nobody wants to do the work of finding new screws. And this couch, ooh, that was a monster. Before I do that, let's look at the mess that I made here. This is all trash right here. This is all stuff that gets this a uh, look up and keep for a better market box right here. Uh, got to look through those books still. I got to load all this stuff. All that stuff's got to get loaded on here. There's not too much on here right now, but I think by the time I get all these pieces on here, this going to be a full trailer. And I know what I'm going to call this video. I filled my trailer for 30 bucks. <laughs> I think that's a good name. All right, you guys, that's pretty much it for this locker. You saw everything there was to see, which is not much. I uh, actually have some footage of the flea market. I'm not sure what happened to it. It's gone. Uh, but, yeah, it was not a stellar flea market day, but we did move the merchandise. But I got something even better for you. Manuel bought a locker at the same facility. So let's go swing by his and take a look at what he got. That might be a little better than mine. Yeah. Presents there, so I found yeah. that wrap. You found the cr Christmas presents, huh? Yeah. Dang. This one, man, you got 50 bucks, right? Yeah, 50 bucks. It looked good, huh? I mean, it looked interesting. It also looked kind of junky, kind of thrown or whatever. Huh? Yeah. Kind of tossed. Nobody else? You recording right now? Yeah. Check that out. That's good. There's a better part over here. This is a. Uh... Just stuff, some of it's brand new, that's a saddle or whatever. Oh, really? It's kind of jacked up though, but. Okay. These, these pans are pretty expensive right here. That brand, I mean, that's pretty cool. That's Pons good. Of gift card, a few Starbucks gift card, Kohl's gift card. Yeah. That's good. And then that, that's good. And I think this is good. Ooh. No, not that one. And that's silver, and I think that's good. Okay. Is that gold? Yeah, that is. So? Yeah. Should be. Nice. Well, not bad. 50 bucks, not man. Not bad. The cheapest ones are the best sometimes, man. All right, you heard Manuel say it. Sometimes the cheaper ones are the better ones. I totally agree with that. We've had some amazing $5 lockers in the past. But this time, maybe that's not so true because I spent 30 bucks. Manuel spent 50 bucks. Clearly, the better stuff of the day was in Manuel's locker. Oh man, I filled my trailer for 30 bucks. What can I say? Can't complain. Went to the flea market. I made uh, 250 bucks. Okay, we had dump fee. We had to pay for the booth. We cleared 250. What can I say? That's not terrible. But um, one thing that I didn't show on there, there was one bin of what I popped open all DVDs. Got to the flea market, opened it, and looked a little closer. All Disney's, or almost all Disney's, and a lot of them such as this one right here, sealed. So I looked them up and we got quite a few, quite a few of them. And uh, they're good titles, right? Especially the Toy Story since I think Toy Story 4 just came out today. My kids went and saw it. <laughs> I did and I've been working. But um, I looked these up, I scan them, see what they sell for. Sometimes you can get lucky. Manuel and I got lucky with a Fantasia one before. It's listed for I think 30 bucks and sold it that same day. Sometimes there's ones that are desired and collected. These are not those. These ones, the most expensive one was like 13 to 15. Brand new shipped. Okay, that includes shipping. So what I did is I listed these on Facebook and I, I got like 10 bucks each on them basically. Like the Toy Stories, I listed these three for 30 bucks. 
Dumbo, 10 bucks, blah, blah, blah. Some of my list for five, some for eight. Some of these are open, some are just not that desirable. But um, I sold almost all of them this morning to one lady for 88 bucks. She's picking them up tomorrow. She Venmoed me the money. So love that, love it. So that brought our total, total to like $333 for a $30 locker. It's more than 10 times my money. I'm happy with that, all right? So no summary today because there really is not that, there's not that much to report in sales. Flea market and these right here blew everything out. I caught a couple things I'm keeping like a can of WD-40. Hooray. So anyways, uh, but that's what it was, okay? Sometimes, you know, we buy lockers and uh, we take a chance and sometimes all we get is inventory. Nothing special, but it is how we make a buck and that's keeps these lights on all right so thank you guys for watching it but tomorrow the second locker is coming out that's the one you're gonna want to watch okay we've got a special guest we've got a camouflage hunters locker this is the one that everyone was talking about the auction for the rest of the day everyone was curious including me and when you see it you're gonna be too all right so thanks for watching tonight until next time good luck to you God bless you we'll see you next time here on locker nuts